a very exciting day here at the Detroit Grand Prix. You guys are taking the top spot. Your smiles say everything. We've had a chance to talk over the past few years and whatnot. And you were saying just in the press conference that this race was very, very important to take. Why is it so important for you? It was really important, but not as important as you interviewing Rodney Sandstorm. <laughs> I know. How do you come off of this interview? I don't know. We can't top that, can we? Uh, well, we did win. And Rodney did not. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, it's really important, um, you know, to get a win in Motor City. And to get a one-two for Michael Shank Racing was huge. And uh, it's kind of relieving, but um, awesome as well. I think we drank too much champagne. I know, I asked you, I said, do you want to bring your champagne? You're like, nope. It's empty. <laughs> it's empty, we have no more. And going for you, Mario, this is your second win here in Detroit. It seems like it's getting a little bit more comfortable for you. What is the most difficult turn, though, out there, even though you two make it seem very seamless? Actually, every turn here. It's, uh, <laughs> there's, uh, in every turn, there's some bumps who, like, uh, surprise you, and uh, it's, it's just every lap is a challenge. And, uh, yeah, it's just every, every time is nice to, to succeed, this, succeed this challenge. Well, it seems like at the beginning of the season you were doing endurance races, but now it's getting a little bit more packed. They're adding more. You're winning. You're just doing everything. How does that make you feel that you have all this confidence and you have people who are backing you now just because you've been dominating? Yeah, we're on a roll. And I think that, you know, we're in the championship hunt. We're right there, P1 and 2, and we were fighting with the leaders. So it was Brian Sellers and, and Madison Snow who were leading the championship coming in, and they were on the podium with us. Mm -hmm. And it's like we keep switching. So um, it's difficult for them to say no to keep bringing us to the races when you're, you're the championship hunt, you know. So hopefully we can bring the championship home to Acura. That's amazing. I got to ask you a question. This is totally off subject because I am in love with her accent. How do you not just say, please talk to me, Catherine. Just talk to me. I, just, I don't care what you say, but what is the... You know how everybody says something with, when they're saying with the accent, it's so cute and it's so different, but what is something that she always says that you're just like, because my friend, he's from South Africa, uh, and he always would say, literally, literally. literally. Yeah, and so, so what is a word that she always says that you just smile every time? Well, first of all, she's speaking German, so, and I'm German, so it's always funny to hear speaking German. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, going off of this, you guys have these great smiles. What it can happen for the rest of the 2018 season? Well, so it's going to be really strange because at the next race, Mario is going to be back in the 93 car. So we're going to be rivals again. Well, teammates, but rivals. Um, so that's going to be weird not having his, him as my teammate next time. So hopefully we can both do a really good job and finish on the podium again, huh? Definitely, yes. Well, thank you so much for taking out the time. Go drink some more champagne. Get those smiles we on. Food now. No, you, I know. Rodney had Starburst, pink Starburst. Catherine goes into this fanny pack, gets out the Starburst, and she's like, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So you two go eat. Thank you so much. A big congratulations again to the both of you. Thank you.